All right, hello, 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 Cheers, Kevin here, and welcome back to Nowhere. <laughs> I forgot what series we were playing there for a minute. Um, and uh, when we last left off, we had a system here that was, uh, in theory, going to produce a bunch of uh, draconium ingots for us, but it needs some purple dye, so we need to we need to fill that thing up and get that going, um, as well as uh, as well as supply it with some gold. I'm sure that you have left some some helpful suggestions in the in the comments. Um, I, as you uh, may or may not know, I tend to record these in in batches. Um, because, you know, I get excited about a thing, and then I just record for a while. Because, um, you know, you get done recording an episode, you want to do more. Um, and then I have to switch over and do more stuff. We have this very terrible system of pulling <laughs> pulling out our Philosopher's Stone and putting it out. Because right now it treats both of those as exterior things. Oh, I suppose we can make this fast. It doesn't particularly matter, because this is the slow part. It's just waiting for that to process. But, <clears throat> oh well, whatever. Um, let's, uh, actually, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and upgrade that process, because we're going to be doing a lot of... Uh, yeah, draconic stuff today. Let's see, signalium plated item ducts or impulse item ducts. The impulse item ducts, I think, were faster, weren't they? Impulse, uh, impulse item ducts, vacuum impulse item. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see, impulse item duct. Let's see, transfers item more quickly. Okay, this. Uh, wait, no, this. Okay. Ah, okay. So this, we would actually need a fluid transposer, um, and then we need to pour some some molten glowstone into it. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm down. Let's let, let's do that. Why not? I mean, with it's it's something that it wants us to do anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, and see about it. Uh, we need some platinum. Uh, pl actually, we may not. Let's let's see how we're doing over here. Uh, yeah, before we get into uh, the the main stuff we were actually going to get into today, um, let's uh, grab our gear cast. Um, and I was looking through some of these achievements, and it does look like um, most of the the end game stuff does build on uh, itself. So like the creative RF source is going to require um, some more of the creative modifiers to complete, then the creative EMC storage cell is going to require a reservoir, uh, the reservoir requires more our, our creative RF source, yeah, it basically, we, we need to, we're going to need to be able to produce some of this crazy endgame stuff in bulk, um, so we'll, we'll get to that, how are we, let's see, did I start, the, no, I didn't, okay, I'm an idiot, I don't think we had, do we have enough platinum, no, we do not, okay, let's get some more platinum melting up, because I talk, and then I forget what I'm doing, we'll go ahead and get some of that going on in here, and boom, and then yes, yeah, so we need platinum gear because we need to make a machine frame. Let's go ahead and so we don't uh, forget ourselves. We'll go ahead and do this. Um, so we'll need the fluid transposer, I guess. Then we'll also need. Um, I guess we can get it out that way. We could also get a magma crucible going um, if we wanted to. Is there a reason for us to get a magma crucible? Does it want us to? That'd be under thermal, right? Yes, okay, it does want us to create a magma crucible, so let's go ahead and add that to our list. Magma crucible. And we'll craft up one of those. Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll just make a bunch of machine frames, and then simonal ingots. Oh, do we have sim... I forget, does that have EMC? No. Uh, that one, I think, yeah, we had to go through... I think we had to convert dust into... I forget. And we'll pour out some simonal ingots, because we're going to need uh, some of those. Okay, so... Um, yeah, both of these require these, and we need some copper gears as well. We need some buckets. We need some any glass uh, redstone reception coil. Those should be easy enough to do. Uh, redstone reception coils. Uh, one, two. Get two of those thrown in there. Um, this requires some nether brick. Do we have nether brick in here? Uh, we do not. Do we have some nether brick in here? Uh, nether. Uh, yes, we have some nether brick. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not the nether brick we were talking about. I don't think this is the nether brick we're talking about. Let's make sure we've got that learned. Um, throw some of that in there. Nether brick. And I, I, I need to figure out, I need to sit down and figure out the, the easy way to, because it just seems like it's faster. Oh, okay, now we're out of, we're out of space. Fine, 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 fine. Yeah, we need to, <laughs> we need to craft up some more, some more space into our AE system as well. Oh man, so many rabbit holes to go down, so little time. All right, so some metal ingots, some platinum gear. Um, what else did we need as part of the, Machine base. Uh, just glass. Okay, fair enough. We can go ahead and do that. And we're going to need some copper gears as well. So let's grab, get some of that going. Uh, I don't know if we have enough of that. Oh, well. All right, let's make ourselves some machine frames. Hopefully two of them. Yes. Okay, good. And then we just need some copper gears. So we've got some more copper melting up. And select the copper. And yeah, we'll get those pouring out real quick. Um, the rest of this should be pretty straightforward. We just need the, let me grab those reception coils. Uh, because yeah, we're... Exception. Thank you. Pull those out of there. And then once we've got enough of these, we should be able to craft up the, uh, the two machines. And I, it's it's fun doing this because I feel like by the time we actually get to uh, 
Um, by the time we actually get to the end game, we're going to have kind of, without attempting to, kind of gone through a whole bunch of this stuff automatically, which is really nice. Why is this not doing anything? There we go. There we go. Four of them. Okay, perfect. Um, we'll just wait till you're completely filled. There we go. And stop. Okay, so fluid transposer, give me one of those, and then a magma crucible. Uh, what are we missing? Just, uh, oh, quartz glass. Okay, a hardened glass. Fair enough. Um, hardened glass, thank you. And do that over here. And cool, 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 cool. And we'll just put these, I don't know, like there <laughs> and, uh, and there. Because, you know, we're, 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 la we're lame. We're lame and dumb. Okay. So the idea then is that we need to pour some glowstone uh, into the uh, crucible. Yes. Um, we're going to need a bucket to ferry things over. Um, so let's grab a bucket out of there. We'll grab some of that. And then do we have the, uh, the, so the item ducts uh, are right here. And then we just need to grab the glowstone out of here. Oh, come on. Oh, it's not done yet. Suppose we can at least grab our lovely achievements for uh, accomplishing these wonderful feats of uh, feats of nature. Um, ah, yeah, we should we should we should fix our our AE system as well. Uh, what do we need here? We need you know what we could fix our AE system and then also upgrade the uh, or use a. Well, I guess we have to craft another tier one anyway because we didn't get credit for the first one because yeah we were a 1K ME. We go and it wants us to craft the storage component and not just the storage cell. The component is a uh, then and then gets put in. Oh, okay, hang on. Right, it can then be put in a storage housing. Um, but okay, we can craft the storage component. That's just uh, pure certus quartz, redstone, and logic. Product. Yeah, we may be able to. We may already have the materials for that. Let's see. Um, there we go. Do you have the material? <laughs> you don't have any of those. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, then just give me some certus quartz out of here. Uh, oh, we don't. Have Fine. We'll go ahead and purify some certus quartz for you. Actually, no, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm doing this, uh, doing this completely backwards, aren't I? No? Okay, yeah, we've got the... There we go. Certus quartz dust, certus quartz crystal. Uh, grab some redstone, because that needs to be in our system. And some sand. We need to combine that. Um, we may have some pure certus quartz in the, uh, certus of grow of grow fizing machine over here. Yes, okay, yes we do. We can put in, uh... Let's uh, make some more seeds. Just uh, replenish in the pro while we're in the process. Oh, come on. There we go. There. And tell this thing. Yep, go ahead and grow some more. Meanwhile, we'll put these we'll put these in the system. And then put the redstone in the system. Uh, we can't put the redstone in the system. That's fine. Okay, 1K storage component. It can at least pull it from our inventory. And that we, we get the, award for, the reward for it. And then the housing just requires quartz glass. Let's see. Can we make the housing? Um, just need the empty one. What are we missing in there? Uh, just the quartz glass. Okay. Ah, uh, we're just shy of some crushed quartz. All right. I'll go back and forth and do all this work for you. This is fine. All right. Have another another quartz dust, and we, you don't have space for that. Okay, fair enough. Um, we'll throw that to the side, make a housing, and see what we can do here. Okay, so housing can go in the crafting terminal. Oh, no. Wait. Uh, housing. Okay. You have you suddenly found found the space. Fair enough. And then a 1K storage component. There we go. A 1K storage cell. Now we can put, plug this into our into here. Ah, okay. So this actually turns. Oh, that's cool. It's uh yeah, it's at capacity, so it's it's giving us a yellow light. Love it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now our storage system shouldn't shouldn't be. I mean, it, it it'll still fill up soon, but you know we're not we're not in quite as dire of straits, which is nice. Um, we can start putting some stuff away. Good, 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 good. And, you know, we, we got an achievement, so that's nice. Um, now I'm curious, actually, the 4K uh, component, is this... Uh... Oh, okay, yeah, so there's no... We don't actually need to put these things in housings. We can just go ahead and go through the process of upgrading them all the way to the very end before putting them in housings um, so we can plug in the high end, the highest of endest of tiers. Anyway, how are we looking over here? All right, finally, we were able to get some glowstone. Uh, no, put it, put it in, and then we need to infuse these item ducts. All right, impulse item ducks, and we just need three for, for what we're doing here. Oh, that's not what I meant. Put that back. Um, let's go ahead and replace these. And one, two, three. And we just got to set this thing up the same way that it was. So it is a whitelist of only accepting... Let's grab you. 
course, in the in the time that we took to do that, it uh, it got it processed all that it could anyway. So, whatever. Um, wow. Actually, you know what? I think I just realized a dumb thing. We since we're leaving this external anyway, why not just make this an internal recipe? Because then it won't be an issue that it ends up in this external slot. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, this will be just fine. We don't need any of this. But we got an achievement, so that's that's a thing. Um, the real the real magic was inside us all along. Uh, purple. So if we put in the purple dye, this will just process it till the cows come. Yep, there we go. It's just gonna go ahead and auto do all of that. Perfect. Okay, we didn't. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's look at some of this draconic stuff. Okay. So we have we have gotten ourselves a draconic core. We've gotten our hands on one of those. Um, the next thing that so the the basically being able to do fusion crafting, which is draconic's weird crafting system, requires basic fusion crafting and fusion crafting core. Um, fusion crafting core. We actually are going to need a wyvern core first. Um, so that kind of puts a Kabosh on getting on kind of sprinting to that. The Wyvern Core is the next achievement here. Um, if we look at other things that we need here, um, just more draconic cores. These are crafted with just draconium ingots, diamonds, and gold, so that's not terrible. Um, and then, yeah, this also is going to require some empowered stuff. Um, so we'll have to figure out how to do the empowering. But the Wyvern Core seems to be the first next thing, as it were, um, which is going to mean another star, uh, which actually shouldn't be terrible. Um, he says, thinking, oh, gosh, this looks kind of eh. Um, and then, yeah, well, the Philosopher's Stone, yeah, no, this is, this is, this should be straightforward. Um, let's, uh, let's pull out uh, some sand. Um, and you know what I can do? So I can actually throw a bunch of the non-stackable stuff away, because we actually have the ability to do that now. Again. Hooray. And we'll go over here. Oh, we need to take this off. Um, we'll throw the sand in there. Convert that all into soul sand. Um, okay. And then we're going to need, okay, so the, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Wither Star. Or sorry, another star. Um, soul sand, we've got plenty of now. Philosopher's stone, we can make more of. Um, and then it's just okay. It's just surrounding that by bones. Which do we have bones? Um, no, not necessarily. So how do we get bones? Um, oh, okay, fair enough. That's ask a stupid question. Um, let's grab philosopher's stone. We have one in here. Um, we can craft up more of these. Um, let's grab the recipe for that. There we go. Just needs more diamonds. Fair enough. I will give you diamonds. You know what? No. Give yourself some diamonds. Dang it. Diamonds. Craft up a hundred of these. And I haven't figured... Oh, no. It's too many. And it can't figure it out. I think we need to upgrade our CPU. But, yeah. I, I, I need to learn more. Um, diamonds. Easy enough to get that way. Throw them in the system. And then... Uh, yeah. So get ourselves a Philosopher's Stone. Boom. And we're going to need a couple of these. Oh, you're out of Redstone. Fair enough, redstone. I do wish, though, that there was... I don't think that there is a way for it to just backfill ingredients that it can auto-craft. Um, but, man, that would make life easy. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, we'll pull one of these out um, and then just surround it with bone meal. Right? So let's grab some bone meal. There we go. And that will get us bones. Uh, well, that will get us a bone, um, which we can then learn... And then we can get a bunch of bones out and surround the surround the thing with bones to get ourselves a uh, yeah, skeleton head. And that does have EMC, so we should now be able to craft the wither stuff. So skeleton, skeleton head, and wither stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we should be able to do this. Let's grab ourselves a nether star. Lovely. We have learned this. It does not have EMC, so that's that's a bummer. Um, but now we need to make a bunch more draconium cores. Um, yeah, let's just, yeah, 18 of them. Why not? Um, okay, and then a wyvern core. Oh, because, yeah, that's why not, because we need we need some of these draconium things. Let's start making more of those. Let's grab some more gold. Uh, put some of this away. Gold and purple. Boom. And make sure this thing keeps going. Get to work. And uh, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, make ourselves a wyvern core. All right. So that is an achievement underway, and uh, it's it's weird to me. Why do we get two rewards for some, and and I, I don't know. Uh, who knows? Um, that means we should be able to actually start to get into some of the draconic crafting stuff, uh, provided that we're able to actually do this empowerment system. So uh, let's run down to our uh, infusion stuff, start putting down them, those ingredients, um, and we're going to walk through all of these step by step. Let's look here. So empowered anora crystal, empowered emerata crystal, empowered blah, blah, blah. Oh, actually, yeah, we shouldn't put this on here because we're going to need to 
go through empowerment steps for all of those ingredients anyway. So um, I think some of these we already may ha have the base ingredients for. Um, so Enori Crystal, yeah, we have to empower. And Okay, so let's look. Enori, okay, we have plenty of Enori Crystals. Um, let's, go through, let's go through that one. Um, that's going to require Snowball, Button, Cobblestone, and Gray. Okay, so the Empowered Emeratic Crystal, uh, Grass, Oak, Slimeball, and Lime Dye. The Empowered Void Crystal uh, is a Void Crystal, Charcoal, Flint, Ink Sack, and Stone. Oh my gosh, this one's one we don't actually have to do things for. All right, and you know, let's go ahead and do those three, um, because my inventory is getting a little bit full, um, and then we'll, we'll, come, we'll do the last one. Um, and then put them all together. So this goes in and it needs to be surrounded by a snowball and a something else. Okay, there. And cobble. And a button. Oh, look at that. We're actually getting the effect. Hooray. Okay, perfect. Lovely. Empowerment. Empowered Anori Crystal. Hooray for that. Uh, the Void Crystal needs to be surrounded by flint and stone and an ink sac. And one other thing. Uh, charcoal. There we go. Lovely. And I actually didn't bring the Inori Crystal, so shame on me for that. Or sorry, not the Inori Crystal, but the uh, Emiratic, I meant. The Emiratic Crystal uh, looks like this. And Lime Dye. And Sapling. And Grass. And Slime. Make it more green. Perfect. So palace crystal, um, and then cyan dye, and then three prismarine. Two, three. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so now we're ready to do the master of uh, master empowering. Um, empowered void crystal. Blah 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 blah. Empowered thing. Empowered thing. Empowered thing. Where is my empowered? Oh, wait, wait, did we not do the... No, there it is. Okay, it just didn't fill the thing. Okay, and yeah, now we're getting the, the visual glitch again. But okay, this is fine. And actually, while well, this is going, because it is taking a while, there were some uh, some additional achievements under here for, for actually empowering these basic things, too. So we can go ahead and grab the rewards for that. We're getting pretty much through uh, most of actually additions. Aside from going through the canola press and making refined oil and stuff like that, um, we're, we're getting through most of this. Oh, man, this is still going. This is a, this is a long process. I mean, I guess we'll just leave that alone for a little bit <laughs> and get the rest of this stuff crafted up if we can. Um, so the basic fusion crafting thingies, um, what, do we, what is that in the center? That is just a block of iron. Okay, fair enough. We can, we can certainly make some of that. Block of iron. And throw that in there. And we just, oh, so we need four of these. I don't remember how many. Yes, okay, cool. Four of those, that's at least the portion that we need completed. And uh, I guess we can, why not look at this... Uh, why not look at this item dislocator while we're while we're at it? Because this is this is taking a very long time. Item dislocator, and then there's an awakened version. Oh, okay. Uh, dislocator, unbound, blah 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 blah. Draconian ingots, iron. What is this dis? dis <laughs> uh, so this would be an eye of ender, some blaze powder, some draconium dust. Okay, so we need to make up some more draconium. Uh, yeah, so many of this, so many of these recipes require draconium. So uh, let's grab some more gold ingots and some more purple. And just make sure uh, we're doing as much of this as we can. Actually, you know what? Thinking about this, we could set this up even better. And yeah, we'll just we'll set this up like this, right? Well, so we'll put this down here. We'll put this down here. Um, these are both going to get some power. We don't. It, it doesn't need to create a ton. Um, and that'll create some some ingots. And that'll create some purple dye. That's going to go faster because it's less stuff. Um, and then we can take some of these impulse ducts and just throw them into the system. And then we just need. Um, yeah, then we just need the servo, um, and yeah, we don't, uh, three seconds, uh, whatever, sure. We'll get two of these, and put those on there, and we don't need to tell them to extract specific things, we can just tell it to ignore redstone, we can just tell this to also ignore redstone, and that should, yeah, that's going to pump stuff into here, but it is not going to pump more than can be accepted, as far as I understand. Yeah, so it's not, yeah, now it's not gonna pump anymore. This uh, is taking a longer period of time to get that, but that's okay. We can just throw another energy collector on it and uh, speed that speed that up a little bit. Um, but yeah, now it's not gonna end up filling up the other slots with stuff. Um, 
it won't accept it. So cool, cool, cool. Now we can just let this thing continue, and it should basically eventually give us this many stacks of draconium ingots if we leave this alone. All right, and finally, this thing is done. Boom. Okay, Fusion Crafting Core is done and ready to go. Gotta love all of these EMC crystals. So we can go ahead and remove those from our list. And, of course, I have no idea at all uh, how this works whatsoever. But I'm guessing that uh, this would be the next step for us. Uh, although, that's what, well, I, no, it doesn't look like this is available to us. Ah, no, that's, so Dragon Egg is a prerequisite for Dragon Head. How do we make a Dragon Egg? I'm just curious, you know, for reasons. Um, oh, okay, so we <laughs> we need... Uh, Wyvern tier fusion crafting and 5 million RF. I'm going to guess this is a little more than uh, where we're at just yet, but I, I could be wrong. Um, so the Wyvern... Oh, there we go. Wyvern fu fusion crafting injector. Uh, Wyvern fusion crafting injector. And I'm guessing we need multiple of those. Okay, so we need to do this fusion crafting stuff first. And actually, interestingly enough, if I look at usage for basic fusion crafting injector, literally this is the only recipe. Um, if we look at the Wyvern one... Um, yeah, it's only it's the only uh, <laughs> recipe is upgrade it uh, up until we get to chaotic, which uh, okay, is just a quest reward. Okay, um, but fair enough. I think we actually may need eight of these, based on my understanding. So basically, uh, well, let me let's let's uh, let's declare a space. We'll we'll take we'll take this one as being kind of where we're gonna set up. Um, I'm gonna set this up here. And my understanding is that basically we put these here facing toward the thing. There, like that, um, and, you know, vaguely. Um, the challenge, though, is that if you if you look at this recipe for the Wyvern tier, uh, we actually need eight of these. So I think we need multiple basic infusion, more 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 basic infusion thingies. So let's go ahead and make four more of those if we can. Yes. Okay. So we we now have eight because you need to put an ingredient in uh, each of those things. Now, annoyingly, oh, that's gonna bother me. These are not even. Ugh. Oh well. Um, and it doesn't necessarily matter as far as I understand where they go. They just need to be kind of pointed inward. Um, and what we need to do is place the ingredients um, pointed toward the center. And then whatever uh, the main thing is goes in the center looks like that. So actually we would need a fifth or a, a sorry, a, a ninth one of those things um, that actually goes into the, into the absolute center. So four of those just need to hold diamonds, uh, which is doable. Um, but then the other ones require some dr uh, two draconic cores. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some draconic cores. Uh, perfect, we have two of those. Um, and then we need a wyvern core. Okay, now, now we're now we're now we're gonna need more stuff. How is our how is our farm going? Uh, not too bad. And there we go. Oh, cool. And this does this does keep the. Oh, I I assumed it was gonna consume that. All right, fair enough. Um, cool. Let's make ourselves a wyvern core. And then the last item is this draconic, uh, draconium block. Oh, okay. That's just nine of those. Okay, I was worried that was going to be more complex. Then we may actually be able to do our craft here. Um, it requires power, apparently, though, so we're going to have to figure out exactly how that power needs to be supplied. Uh, no, not six, not not all sixty-four of those, please. Um, I guess I just need to, I guess I need to do these one by one. All right. So then, draconium block, and uh, two. I don't know if the order matters. Uh, it, it, it yeah, it puts it puts both of them in here, which I don't do not want. And there, and then the wyvern core like that, and yeah, let me figure out exactly how we power this because it does it does say hey it requires this much energy, um, but then past that we should be able to just infuse this. Ah, okay, and that was that was an easy uh, easy question to have answered. Um, the answer is that we need to power this thing. We need to power the injectors, but it looks like the middle thing doesn't need to be injected. So um, we just need some more uh, power cells. And you know we could be, uh, we could be responsible and just use and use cables. But you know why not just throw four of them behind here, right? Why why the heck not? And we'll set these all to out. And we'll throw them on the the same network. There you go. I mean this thing needs to you know we need to add capacity anyway. Okay, so now in theory these all have power. We should be able to run this. Oh no, these are the these do not seem to have power. Why do they not have power? Apparently these don't start drawing power um until the the recipe is actually used, so that could be the issue, maybe. Aha, okay. So I must have just had things wrong. Um I don't know exactly how. I must have put down the wrong thing or something. Um but now we actually have a start button and they should hopefully accept power. I moved these in, but it, I don't think I actually needed to. Let's go ahead and do this. 
All right, it is charging. <laughs> that is cool. So it's yeah, these are all these are all pulling power now. Um and they are charging up and they should get this thing fully charged and convert it into this higher tier of thing. Oh, look at that. And there we go. Uh, we have a Wyvern Fusion Crafting Injector. Did we get a... Uh, it's probably going to demand that we have all a bunch of them, isn't it? Yeah, it wants us to have at least four of those. Oh, well. Um, well, that's okay, though, because we can... Oh, man. So we're going to have to do this a bunch of times. But we should be able to basically just then swap this in here. Um, and then do this. You know, kind of kind of set this this whole thing up yet again. And then just do it over and over. Um, of course, that is going to mean a lot more of these, uh, uh, that is going to mean more Wyvern cores, more of these Draconic cores, which may mean that we actually want to automate that process as well. Um, get some, get some auto-crafting going, uh, with that. But, you know what? I think we've, uh, we've begun to make some progress. We've gotten, we've gotten one of those made. I'll definitely get the rest of those made up before the next episode. Um, uh, but we're moving along in Draconic, um, trying to figure stuff out. And once we get, let's see, the Chaotic Fusion, I guess that's the end tier of that, um, Chaos Shard is something we get from Awakened Draconium Ingot. Let's see, Awakened Draconium Ingot. We'll get that from an Awakened Draconium Block. Oh, from Fusion Crafting. Okay. So this is, so, we, okay. So basically we can do a lot of this stuff once we do have Wyvern tiers. So this, I guess, is the demand for what those side pieces are upgraded to. Um, so we'll need a Dragon Heart, um, which we can get from the Dragon Egg and a Dragon Head. Uh, most of this stuff does seem to be Wyvern tier, though. So in the next, uh, in the next episode, oh man, we're going to need so much of this stuff. We're definitely going to have to get some automation going on in here because running back and forth and going like, ah, I need a little bit more is uh, not quite going to cut it. But I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you next time. Cheers.